بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Peace be upon you brothers and sisters Welcome back to our channel If one were to think about the two most famous men in history few would contest that they are the prophets Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi and Jesus alayhi salam They are the most famous as they were the most influential figures in human history Just by doing a Google search you will see that in the English language searches Jesus has 29.5 million searches a month alongside with Prophet Muhammad who has been searched 13.6 million times a month. If we speak about women, no one can doubt that Mary السلام, is the most famous and influential woman in the history of the Western world. But much of the perception that exists concerning Jesus, especially in the Christian world, is that of his divinity. In other words, Jesus is not only the Son of God, but he is also God in so far as he is the second person of the Divine Trinity, namely the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. This thus makes Mary the mother of God, according to this understanding. Islam, which is the world's second largest religion, does not believe in any of this. For Islam, Jesus is neither the Son of God, nor is he God. Islam does not believe God has sons, and it does not believe in the Trinity. God is absolutely one, and Jesus is simply a prophet of God who is created by the Almighty. In this lesson, we will look into the place of Jesus in Islam as well as his mother Mary. O people of the scripture, do not commit excess in your religion or say about Allah except the truth. The messenger Jesus, the son of Mary, was but a messenger of Allah, and his word, which he directed to Mary, and a soul created at a command from him. So believe in Allah and his messengers, and do not say, three, desist, it is better for you. Indeed, Allah is but one God, exalted is he above having a son. To him belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth. And sufficient is Allah as disposer of affairs. Chapter four, verse 171 of the Holy Quran. The Arabic rendering of Jesus is Isa. The Arabic rendering of Mary is Maryam. According to Islam, Jesus is not God, which means that Mary is not the mother of God either. Furthermore, Islam also denies the concept of the Trinity. The Trinity is the belief that God is three persons, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Islam believes that God is Holy One. In other words, He is undivided and has only one person. If Jesus is not God, then what is He? According to Islam, Jesus is a prophet and messenger of God. He is not only a prophet, but he is one of the greatest prophets of the religion of Islam. If Jesus was not God, it naturally follows that Mary was not the mother of God. Even though Islam does not consider either of them as divine, it still has the highest respect for them. About Jesus, the Quran says the following, And we sent, following in their footsteps, Jesus, the son of Mary, Confirming that, which became, confirming that which came before him in the Torah. And we gave him the gospel, in which was guidance and light, confirming that which preceded it, confirming that which preceded it of the Torah as guidance and instruction for the righteous. Or on chapter 5, verse 46. As a Muslim and a prophet, a Muslim is someone who submits himself or herself to God. Jesus guided, Jesus guided people on the straight path to Allah. The straight path to Allah means worshiping God in His oneness and unity, avoiding sins, having good moral character or akhlaq with people and holding firmly to the unity of the Muslim community. Jesus taught people through the Injil or gospel which was revealed to him by Allah. As Muslims, and here we mean by those who follow the Shahada, we believe that the Injil is a divinely revealed book. However, we do not believe it remained unchanged, but its message was over time changed. Belief in Jesus and Mary as well as the original Injil is part of the Islamic doctrine and without them one cannot be a Muslim. Similarly, the Quran holds Mary in a very high status and mention when the angels said, O Mary, indeed Allah has chosen you and purified you and chosen you above the women of the worlds. O Mary, be devoutly obedient to your Lord, and prostrate and bow with those who bow in prayer. Quran, chapter 3, 
verses 42 to 43. Mary was not like other women. Like an exalted prophet of God, the angel Gabriel had revealed, himself, had revealed himself to her, communicating the message of Allah to her directly. Although most Muslims do not consider her a prophetess, due to her high status with God, a minority of Muslims historically believed that she was indeed a prophetess. Islam and Christianity, the Quran and the Bible, agree on many things when it comes to Jesus. However, despite this, there are still some major differences. They include the following. The divinity of Jesus insofar as God being Jesus or Jesus being part of the divine trinity, Islam rejects this belief. The crucifixion and resurrection of the Christ. The majority of Muslims interpret chapter 4 verse 157 of the Quran as meaning that Jesus was never crucified. The Quran says, and for their saying, indeed, we have killed the Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. And they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him. But another was made to resemble him to them. And indeed, those who differ over this are in doubt about it. They have no knowledge of it except the following of assumption. And they did not kill him for certain. 3. Islam believes that Jesus did not abolish Judaic law or its ritual practices. He merely, he merely fulfilled it by reviving the spiritual and moral implications of the law. For example, Jesus explained that it was not enough for adultery to be banned. Lustful looking at another person was also adultery, although in the heart. According to Islam, Jesus taught that outer practice had to be accompanied by inner sincerity and not that outer practice was to be abolished. Until next time, thank you for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.